You know what I did once, Brittany? What? I bleached my own hair like five times in one week. official on this channel hey. Satasha it's her third video with me and I don't know if you guys are sick of seeing her yet what, <laughs> what? no but she wanted to come in because I think two weeks ago we cut her hair how are you liking the haircut so far honestly it's so much better I don't have to like spend hours trying to take the knots out you don't have time for that I don't yeah have time for that. I love it Ain't nobody got time for that. But today, we wanted to, first of all, this girl right here, she wants to go blonde. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to do a bleach wash to get some of this pigment out. And a bleach wash is a lot more gentler than throwing on straight bleach and damaging her hair potentially. But another great thing is, yes, she has pigment on her hair. Yes, this is in virgin hair. But her hair is extremely, extremely healthy and in, in very, very good shape. So... If you're out there, if you're a stylist, or even if you are just a regular person who goes to a salon, you have to analyze the hair, analyze your own hair, and say, honestly, can my hair take this? Can my client's hair take this? You know? <laughs> and don't be, seriously, you like, don't be afraid to say no, because some people's hair is just done. And also, it just depends on your natural hair type. Like, me, for instance, I have very fragile hair just naturally, so my hair can't take a lot, so I don't do a lot to my hair. So Tasha's hair is very strong and it's in very good shape right now her actual hair is like kind of more coarse so the actual strand is a bit a bit thicker so it can take a lot more where my strand is very very fine so i could just even my healthiest strand on my head i could pull it apart like that and it's gonna break like just instantly so um yes we are gonna get started you know what i did once Brittany? what i bleached my own hair like five times in one week. I was when I was 19. I didn't even know you. Oh. What happened? Nothing. My hair was still there. And then the lady, I went to this lady to fix it. And she was like, damn, bitch, your hair took a beat down. Okay, guys, the top secret recipe to a bleach wash, also known as a soap cap, is equal parts clarifying shampoo, powder lightener, also known as bleach, and developer. Here I'm getting my mixing bowl and I'm getting a clarifying shampoo. You could use any one that you want. I'm putting that in. Next, I'm getting a scoop of powder lightener. This is Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, my personal favorite at the moment. And lastly, I'm adding my developer. I'm using a 40 volume, which is the highest volume that you can use, legally at least. Um, because I'm just going to go for it and see how light I can get because there is so much pigment on her hair. I'm not playing any games, right? So I take her to the shampoo bowl. You want to take your client and wet her hair per usual. And then I would use gloves because my hands were kind of trashed the next day. But I don't know. Sometimes I don't like using gloves. But I would totally suggest doing it when you're touching bleach with your bare hands. Um, and then I'm going to start applying that to her ends. Now, the reason why you want to start applying from the ends and then the roots is because at the roots, you're getting the body heat from her scalp. So, heat equals faster, higher processing. So, you want to apply it to the ends first and then start applying it to the roots because the roots are going to accelerate because of her body heat. This is so important, you guys. If you were to apply the lightener directly to the root area of her hair and the product will like I said, accelerate faster, you will result in hot roots. Now what hot roots are is when the root of the hair is a shade or two lighter than the mid strand or ends of the hair. It's a common occurrence when people lighten their hair at home themselves and their roots end up all weird and orange and just like a hot mess. So maybe that's why it's called hot roots because it's a hot mess. So now you guys know that the scalp produces heat and heat makes color process faster than if it were on the mid strand or the ends. 
So when you start to notice it lightening, all you're going to do is watch it, you guys. Just watch the color change and you'll see it. And make sure the entire hair is saturated so that way you do not end up with weird spots and lines and just weirdness like that. <laughs> Whenever you're working with bleach, it is very visual. Whether you're doing a soap cap or whether you're doing actual highlights or anything like that, it's very visual. You have to watch it. It's not like, okay, set a timer for 30 minutes and then you're done. It's like baking a cake. If you watch it and you see when it turns golden brown, that's how you know that it's done. And see, look how light her hair got so far. So we're going to rinse this and see where we are. I decided to do a second round of bleach washing because I saw that her hair was still a little dark and on top of that it could take it. So you kind of have to assess each client's hair and see can their hair take another bleach wash or should I just blow it out, send her home and then ask her to come back in a week or two. You kind of have to assess it but like I said, Satasha has very 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 strong healthy hair so her hair could take it and it is just um, reacting to the bleach wash very well. We are getting to where we want to go. So here I am again applying it to her ends and just working it through and watching it get lighter. Now if you're not a stylist and you're a regular client watching this, I want to make a disclaimer. You need to be open minded when you are changing your hair color, okay? Because sometimes your stylist may need to send you home that day and you need to come back in a week. And yes, you're going to have to pay for it. It's an investment. So you have to be patient with your hair color. It is not like when you go to the store and you see that girl on the box and it just comes out however you want it. N uh -uh, nope, nope, that's not how it works. Be patient and uh, be understanding of your stylist because they do know what you need. As you can see here, her hair is getting a lot lighter. Now it's really like a bright red. As a tip for you stylists out there, when your client is at the bowl and they have that soapy, residue on their hair that is the best indicator of how the hair is going to look when it's dry. This is a close-up of Satasha's hair towel dried. As you can see it's pretty red and I think that this is as far as we are going to get today. Okay so I'm going to throw on a deep conditioner which is so important you guys and then I'm going to blow out her hair and send her on her way. We just finished Satasha's hair. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of it because on camera I noticed that it's not pulling as light as it is. But what she was before, she's about a level 4, right? And so we lifted it about 2 levels, so right now she's about a level 6. This is the safest way to lift the hair without causing damage. And so next time we could probably lift like 2 more levels and, and then keep going. So right now I basically just stripped her hair. Um, before even like we ever start doing highlights so maybe next time we'll be able to start actually putting in foil highlights or else painting it to go even lighter because now we've at least stripped the hair what is your actual color goal for the fall and the winter mm -hmm. to be like kind of like ashy like have that ashy color but what's ashy to you? Like, it, would you, because there could be a warm blonde and an ashy blonde. There could be a warm brunette and an ashy brunette. Probably like an ashy brunette. Okay. Maybe. Do you like that? I feel like you hate that. <laughs> You're looking at me like, I don't want that. <laughs> the only thing <laughs> is that I don't hate ashy colors. I'm open to any color, but it's just that your hair is red. I like ashy red. But this is going to be, this is ashy red. Oh my gosh. You know what? Okay, this is going to be a color experiment. We're going to, we're going to keep, are you, are you committing to the video series? Yes, of course I am. Come okay. on. I know. Do you really have a choice anyway? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask me that. Are so, you committing to the video? yeah, we're going to see. This is an experiment, you guys, that you guys are witnessing firsthand. Her hair process of getting lighter and lighter and lighter and seeing how ashy <laughs> we can get <laughs> given the fact 
that I just dyed her hair red two weeks ago. This is a real life experiment that happens that comes within the salon, so I'm going to show you guys how I handle it. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or requests or anything like that, then leave it down below. Uh, follow me on my social media platforms such as Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Those will all be linked down below. Other than that, you guys will see me in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. You always want me to say bye. I know, because you don't. I'm going to say bye. <laughs>